so god's glory is being oneness with god being today so on the day of salvation being oneness with god being one with god that's the fullness of glory that's where we are all going so when you have to walk in glory and glorify father how do you do is there is a process there is a it's a journey of your life since the day you received jesus into your life these four things gave me so much of insight you know for that day that is the day i saw that wow man glorifies the father we are his glory we are his glory glory is not just a light or a name or a fame or something no glory we are god's glory he said you are the light the light is the glory you are the object of creation you are the purpose of creation this is where beauty comes into place but jesus said what shall you profit a man who gains the whole world and loses soul I could know the value of the soul from the lips of Jesus. The whole earth is not as important as one soul. Whatever it is, you are excelling. You are a success in the name of Jesus. When man's identity was stolen of being like God, that's identity, Satan stole simply the glory of God from man. That means God, he stole the uh, uh, God's glory. So it's so painful to God that his own glory was stolen away from Satan because of man's disobedience of his word. Hallelujah. So man was became so empty, he has only image, he does not have the likeness of God. That's where the story begins of God bringing back his uh uh bringing back what he made in the original form and that's all about glory. Like uh when we say a uh, uh, natural man in this world they can do so much of exploits they are doing so much of exploits we you really see that they acting as and they are even telling as though they they are the one who created everything you know but the way they speak the way they come out with their discoveries the scientists and all is as though they are the one who created that's the nature of god in them that had just a rub off it is just the rub of god that is inside them that they are exploiting like that what what about us that have received re received god in us the original glory of god is in us what about us christians we just call ourselves spiritual spiritual uh, people spiritual minded people and the people in the world you don't feel so bored when they look at people who are spiritual they feel these spiritual things are very you know spiritual uh, fanatics they feel sp- being too spiritual is being as though something is wrong with you they are really alienated disconnected from god their eyes are really blinded by god of this world satan they are really blinded so when they do exploits they do so many exploits and all it's just acting the nature of god that is just the rub off the re- the qualities that is still there in them it's not yet complete they just have the image of god that's all but they don't have the likeness of god they don't have the likeness of god they don't have the attributes of god characteristics of uh, all those things they don't have that's why god introduced jesus christ and when jesus christ came he came with that same word that man disobeyed and he came back with that same word to give to man back because the word is what that keeps us connected to god word is what gives entrance for god god to come into us hallelujah that's word of god word of god is so deep to learn and to talk about he is that that personality the word the personality of the word is too dynamic hallelujah are you understanding okay so uh this is the understanding i had so man is manifesting the way we were that's the introduction i gave you the way god made us is the glory of god and that's how we have to be god has made provision for us to become like that get back to original state and in a more better way god has given that promise provision and the provision is called jesus the sacrificial lamb that is jesus christ through his shed blood the sacrifice our sins were washed away is not just saying sins washed away 
it so many so much is there in it that we are connected to god that the, we have we 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 became because when we receive jesus we receive back that glory that satan stole the glory that satan stole is not just a glory you know that's why man when satan when that sin happened man was put to shame man was should put to shame man's glory that is god uh, I, i mean the glory of man it's really a covering to man it was a covering to man when god created he put glory upon us we owe glory of god like a jacket on us on this physical body means the godliness was on us so much like a glory and that is the glory of god but when satan when man disobeyed satan took away the glory when disconnection happened man found himself to be naked right he found himself to be naked because he saw what is wrong in a wrong timing he was made to think only good thing when he think bad thing he is he is uh he is not rightly functioning today also when we teach god's word we teach god's word and thinking right being right thinking positive means god's word is positive anything contrary to god's word is negative when you think negative there is a malfunction it affects even your physical body sickness diseases they come even scientifically it is proven that you don't live a certain way think a certain way in your mind then sickness begin to increase in your body when you have worries depression does it help sickness and disease no and that's how introduction of sickness and disease came because of disobedience of god's word hallelujah so <coughs> i told you it is so much i really don't know which direction to catch up <laughs> hallelujah so we are god's glory we are his glory so uh, uh as i said go, uh, we are, we are god's glory and god is the glory of man when we function we must come to function in the fullness of how god has created created us this how did i get to know this and how did i learn this and why what sparked me up to really understand and you know teach you these things is i saw in a vision uh when we came back from nigeria 2010 i saw in a, a vision i was just worshiping god and you know there are so many songs so i was just singing worshiping a song and i was just sing i was just singing and uh, the, the 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 song that is there take glory father take glory son take glory holy spirit i am born again you know that song well so i was worshiping and i was singing so when i said take glory father instantly in my spirit something happened take glory father what am i saying take glory father okay they, but p- religious people they say always you know all glory be to god <laughs> they speak like that <laughs> don't take any glory and yet they are taking glory say all glory, <laughs> glory be to god <laughs> like there was a joke you know one uh, man of god came and told he went to a village <laughs> to preach and he said and he what is that he said something and he said uh, i'm the one who built this church but all glory be to god he said i am the one who did this meeting all glory be to god like that you know <laughs> they say it and yet they take the glory <laughs> not that kind so i was just thinking what glory is it that uh, god is talking about that take glory father what is this about that god is putting in my heart so i just started seeing a vision and in the vision i saw four things four levels of man four levels in that first i saw a man a empty man that i spoke whose glory was taken away man a empty man then first i saw a light just came into that man when the man opened his heart to jesus so when he heard jesus the light entered into his spirit so the light was inside of his spirit so i saw that this one is like a believer like what you and i we say he's a believer of jesus christ so he believed in jesus and he opened his heart and that light entered his spirit that was the first thing i saw then the second thing i saw was after some time that's a level of glory means when we receive jesus into our life into our spirit in our hearts truly not simply because your mom and dad is a christian calling yourself is a christian not that one truly receiving christ to be lord over your life when we come to maturity to think what is right what is wrong we are given a choice to choose 
and every man must make a choice at a point of life in their life right and when they make a choice when they hear the gospel of jesus christ as they hear the gospel of jesus christ that he died for our sins so we now truly receive that forgiveness of sins through the cross and we accept jesus to be lord over our lives and that is what is uh, truly being believers of jesus christ you understand so there was a light in that man as that true uh, light that is jesus came into his heart that was the introduction and then what happened was the second one uh, the the man now turned the light now turned and started burning upon him like a flame of fire we can see it in hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 it says that the ministers his ministers the ministers are a flame of fire it says in hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 the ministers are a flame of fire so what i got when i was seeing the, that vision was in level 1 i said when we truly receive jesus as lord and savior of our life and allow him to lord our life and be a true christian that is a glory acknowledging christ as lord over my life and truly he lording over my life is simply his word rules my life as a christian got it so that is a level of glory so i saw that when we are true with him and his word and allow the word to make a standard of my life when i become a christian that is a glory so i am glorifying the father when i do that you understand so anything we hear about god and we act like it we are glorifying the father that is in heaven so that's one level of glory so this was the second one when i saw the being like a flame of fire then i saw in the scripture it says the ministers are a flame of fire his ministers god's ministers are a flame of fire so when we continue in doing that the word of god uh, uh w- w- when that light come first we the spirit of god comes in us and the fruit of the spirit begin to come in us change us transform us so when that transformation is happening in us the light begins to burn in us right and that's why jesus said you are the light of the world the light begins to burn in us and the bible calls us as we are flame of fire we are flames of fire hallelujah our father is a consuming fire we are flames of fire so we be aware every that believer begin to burn that flame and there was a small light around that believer so the light was shining and so i saw that so when this man who becomes a believer and now that uh, the spirit of god that came into him that divinity that was lost has come back into him by the spirit holy spirit and when it came into him the fruit of the spirit comes out of him and uh, when he is acting on those things and being like a christian and his nature is coming out of him that's the light circumference that is showing that is benefiting him and around him so when that is coming out uh, that uh, i saw him like a fire giving uh, somebody when he they see they can see something different about this person naturally when they see they can see something different about this person hallelujah so that was the second one then the third one i saw was all of a sudden that light began to become brighter and brighter and brighter to the extent it started touching people it was going to a great uh, to a more uh, higher circumference it was reaching the circumference of that light was more and the brightness was more and it was affecting other people so other people were able to see the light they were able to see the light and that's the light we said jesus talked about let your light so shine before men and they will see and glorify the father so i now saw that okay when this light was shining now you're watching day of salvation stay tuned we will be right back by the human heart money cannot satisfy the human heart pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart comfort cannot satisfy the human heart nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. jesus is the son of god he is the word of god made flesh god's word made flesh and he walked the earth and he faced the things that were facing passed through the difficulties that we pass through and was without sin the bible says he was without sin he was a sinless the seed of god's word became flesh and he died on the cross for my sins and for your sins and the bible says whosoever call upon the name of the lord shall be saved 
the name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. the word of God and understand it you hear and understand is very important not just hear understand is important understanding is when the God is love and for us to live a victorious life when you understand who you are there is no life like that Hello? that is revelation revelation means something that is understood and well so it happened has to do with your Apostle Edmonds here. I'm glad to inform you that our timings for PhD has changed. We're changing the timing September 7 to uh, 3 p.m. downwards. You come with your family and friends and your life will never remain the same. Like we said earlier on, we pray for the sick and we pray for the first timers and we've seen great things. Transformation, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, success, wonderful things the Lord is doing. It's a multiples of miracles. Never miss it. PhD, 3 p.m. every Saturday. 3 p.m. onwards, every Saturday, starting from September 7th. Don't miss it. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. get filled with the spirit we hear God's word and we get ministered to and we minister to the first timers by the laying on of hands and great things God is doing people are getting healed people are getting transformed and a lot of things God is doing make it a day God bless you you're watching day of salvation welcome back This one is different. It's affecting people's life. So he is like a son of God. Hallelujah. He's a son of God. There are levels. First is believer. Then a minister. Then a son. Then a son. Being a son of God. So he was affecting people's life. A son of God. So his life, light was shining out in the world. Then there was the fourth one. The, there was the fourth one. So when your light is shining out in the world, that's another glory, the third one, okay? That's another level of glory. You're glorifying the Father. All these things step by step is revealing the Father in different steps. You are revealing the introducing Father to this world through you. Then step number four I saw was, I saw 
the light became so bright it was so bright there was another image coming out of that light god's image coming out of that light hallelujah that was that is when i saw that i saw oneness of god in man the way god created man to be the fullness of glory so god's glory is being oneness with god being one with god that's the fullness of glory that's where we are all going so when you have to walk in glory and glorify father how do you do is there is a process there is a it's a journey of your life since the day you receive jesus into your life these four things gave me so much of insight you know for that day that is the day i saw that wow man glorifies the father we are his glory we are his glory glory is not just a light or a name or a fame or something no glory we are god's glory he said you are the light the light is the glory when we reveal it it is glory glorifying the father hallelujah is it not interesting are you learning something and that's our responsibility to reveal the father by becoming one in him so our journey begins like that as a believer then as a minister affecting our life our life becoming an example then affecting people's life changing people's life changing the world that's another level of being a son of god acting like a son hallelujah acting like a son you act with a power and authority that is given to you you act as a heir as a as a heir who has the inheritance in christ jesus you act like that not uh, 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 these three things are very different not like a a christian that is just call himself or herself a christian and just be just go on sunday to church and just think of god and just ask their prayer requests god do this do this do that do this and come back and just be calculating and meditating every day how much god bless me how much he didn't bless me why this came why did this did not come what happened to me what happened to this one comparing yourself that life is not a christian life when we learn so much when god opens our life i see so many people you we have so much of responsibility to go out and to teach people right we you who are hearing this as you hear as the knowledge keeps increasing in christ jesus you are responsibility keeps increasing because that's the nature of the gospel as it increases as your knowledge increases your responsibility increases you are you can't be selfish with god's word god's word cannot be kept it must be given out god did not keep his word he kept his word hallelujah as a sacrifice so we have to the word that we get we have to give it out we must walk in that light give it out is not just going and telling 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 people you be you be you be and you don't be <laughs> telling people to be and you don't be what the word says not that kind of gospel condemning people comparing with god's word and saying god's word says this and you are not walking in that and condemning not like that showing an example christ was our perfect example he was an example he did all he revealed himself he revealed father in everything we saw father he revealed the father right so that's how we ought to be so when you learn that what kind of a christian are you you have to think what kind of a christian are you which level are you in are you just in a believer level i tell you satan is the best believer because he is the oldest believer who believed god who believes god from the onset from time he was created satan believes in god you how many years are you who is the oldest person in this hall how many years are you <laughs> satan is going to be 7000 plus years from the creation hallelujah So he is the best believer so you can't say I'm a good believer Christian no Christian carries the anointing anointing is a responsibility we have taught so a Christian is the one who carries the cross carries the anointing anointing for what I need car I need a house I need a better job always being in competition not that one not for that the anointing is not for that anointing is to give out i told you anointing is god's word how does anointing come father anoint me anoint me fast and pray and ask god to anoint you increase your anointing feel the anointing that's not anointing anointing is you are separated to carry god's word 
God's word is anointing. Jesus means, the meaning of Jesus in Greek means savior or anointed one or the anointing. You understand? So God's word is the anointing. People talk and say, uh, uh, I, I want the anointing. Oh, I feel the uh, anointing of God. What anointing are you feeling? What is the meaning of anointing? Anointing is not feeling a heat, feeling a cold or feeling the presence of God in us. That's not anointing. Now the Lord told me, from now on, begin to pray for those watching your CDs. Begin to pray for those watching the program. This is the first one I want to do. Wherever you are, I speak to you. Whether you are watching this by DVD, listening by the internet, wherever you are, I release love explosion. In the name of Jesus Christ, at the sound of my voice, you media audience, no barrier for the power force of God's law. Media cannot limit it. Space cannot limit it. Distance cannot limit it. Wherever you are, I command explosion. Love explosion. Love explosion. In the name of Jesus. Yes, If you could not walk, I command those chains that have been holding your leg to be exploded. In the name of Jesus. If you have been dealing with unforgiveness in your heart, I command an explosion for that wrong decision. Now forgive in Jesus. Jesus name. Let there be light in your family. Let there be light in your ministry. Let there be light in whatever you do. In the name of Jesus. I send you. With the power of the love of God. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Don't just have the love of God. Be love. Personify. In your community, in your college, in your office, in your family, love in person. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How beautiful it is we could use the media saints.